how to use the try haul tool in your truck dispatching business hello everybody in today's video we'll be talking about how to use try haul effectively and profitably and before i jump in the dat solutions they're you know the, one of the biggest you know companies in the world and think about this way they said it boldly about this try haul tool potentially boosting your revenue by 25 35 even 50 percent more imagine if you can bring 25 percent 35 percent or even 50 percent more revenue to your clients think about this way if your client makes about 10k per month and you like help him or her company making like 15k per month think about how you can change that business your clients businesses think about that way right let's you know define what is trial trial is basically you know i'm here to simplify things that you can understand right so i can use you know advanced terminologies whatever but these types of videos are the you know it's tutorials so it's if you know something you simplify thing and share with the world that they can learn and implement right the simple is that so try haul to simplify things is a tool what type of tool right just ask this question what type of tool it's automatic suggestions tool that automatically suggests to you like lanes hey don't go from a to b go to a to b c or go to from a to c then go to b and then come back so to speak right and they did a great job illustrating this and they're giving um, this illustration based on Columbus, Ohio, if you can see it, Columbus, Ohio and Buffalo, New York and how this works. For those of you who, who know this, the, how to use this try haul, what is this try haul? Well, you can skip this video, but for those of you who are interested how to use it effectively, you know, trust me, not many people use this effectively, even though this exists. Again, as I said in the beginning of this video, not many people know this, that, you know, it exists. Even if they know that this exists, they never use it. If they use it, maybe they are not using it effectively or profitably. So think about this way. They're giving a really good example. They're saying that, okay, so how this try haul can help you. If you book a load from Columbus, Ohio and go into, you know, Buffalo, New York, right? You don't come back the same leg leg again let me define what is leg leg is basically mean that like you know the route that you took and you're going back this leg and then this leg that leg a leg basically is a lane this is how i think maybe it's different maybe some people are using it differently but when i talk to my drivers or you know um the owner operators or carriers i use like oh, this leg i think will help our business this is how it goes basically what i mean is is it's the lane right from columbus ohio you, you picked up load and then, you know, you delivered in Buffalo, New York. You, as usual, right, you can come back. You can book a load or most, you know, dispatchers book load from like Buffalo, New York going back to Columbus, Ohio. Why? Because the truck terminal or parking lot or the home for this carrier is Columbus, Ohio. Well, when you click try haul or use try haul or implement this tool in your business it will be what it will be automatically suggesting triangular lanes for you like saying hey don't go back to like using the same leg going back to columbus ohio right so you just go from buffalo new york i don't know to pittsburgh i think they're using pittsburgh yeah pittsburgh go to pittsburgh pick up a load here drop you know drop off this load in pittsburgh and then pick load from pittsburgh go columbus ohio then you will make money okay let's talk about numbers now now we know now now we, i kind of introduced you right so this is the big picture and let's jump in to the num to the numbers did you try how this is basically for the van right and in august you know um third it's 2017 these are the numbers based on 2017 but again don't take me wrong we are uh, in the august 5th 2020 it's just you know this is the blog post and i'm kind of simplifying and explaining things right so you don't so maybe you go and read this but maybe you confuse like oh man i don't know how to use it and my job is to explain to you right you know for those of you who didn't subscribe to the, to this channel please subscribe to the channel because i post very valuable tutorials and then you can learn and implement 
and what will happen you learn more you earn more and then you give back more right this 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 is how it goes i learned it right and i made it and i'm here is i'm giving you back right learn from it and again i'll be using don't skip this video i see that their question pops up you know here and there like asking oh can you cover this well i did i i explained in detail in that video and you just skipped it maybe you didn't watch like go back and watch and please by saying this i'm inviting you to you know stick to the end because there a lot of powerful stuff will be in this video be honest with you trust me on that one okay and it says okay so outbound outbound basically is this right so you're going out to the another state there's inbound there's outbound but again as i said i'm simplifying things that you can understand right outbound and see return and lag see dat power uses this uh, term this is the leg so this is the leg one and then the orange is a leg two right outbound from a to b columbus to buffalo is 330 miles and then rate again back in 2017 it was three maybe less maybe more uh, i'm not in the driving market i'm in the flatbed market and let's say yeah three three dollars back then and just for the uh, uh, example sake 330 miles rate per mile three dollars total pay brokers pay to the carrier 990 dollars now what do you do usually in 90 percent dispatch is what they do they book a load from you know from b back to a right return and lag b to a buffalo to columbus ohio what it's same mileage 330 back is 1.67 new dispatchers may confuse like why it's not three dollars it's 167 like it's like almost half why is that quick tip here when you see brokers pay more mileage than usual the state that you go in that means going out will be very difficult or very cheap remember that when you see a broker's pays really good money to go to like x let's say a state going out of that state will be cheap or no loads pay attention to that because it's really powerful stuff as i said it's really powerful stuff here right and this would be like one sign that okay so if this broker pays three dollars oh man don't say that if i go there i can't well i can't go i don't know back right it will be cheap and then my customers will be you know dissatisfied and i don't i don't want that so what should i do use try haul use try haul and then i will show you how okay so b to a like back to you know from buffalo to columbus is it's a 330 and then this is the rate per mile and this is what you get right and then the total round trip round trip is going like using this green lane going back right the round trip is how much total 1541 your carrier makes and of course you make whatever the percentage is or how you you know contracted with this carrier and again we'll be talking about the legality and actually i'll be you know pulling um the comments that people ask about the legality of this business i see the people confused about this like is it legal should i charge you know percentages whatever whatever i'll be going into that and so that you will have the answer for for, for that question 1541 now what trial says trial says that okay do this instead to make more money how from a from columbus ohio going to buffalo new york don't go back pick up a load go to pittsburgh because they this lane see this the, this lane they they pay they pay more per mile right and then from this pittsburgh going back to ohio columbus they pay more right and because you didn't do the research you know you picked load here you know drop off in buffalo new york he came back and you lost a lot of revenue here and this is why they have the statement 25 35 50 percent they're right i implemented i know so i am the proof that it works and implement this in your business okay so try, try how they come up with this you know uh, tool and it's a very powerful tool by the way and then it's from a to b columbus columbus to buffalo 330 three miles you make this 
don't go back to Columbus go to from Buffalo to Pittsburgh it's it's 219 miles they pay 2.90 and how you knew that know this try how suggestion and they will be pulling those numbers and give it to you right you will make 635 right don't lose this and then from Pittsburgh you can book a load to Columbus Ohio it's it's 185 miles they pay 2.90 right don't be confused because all of this hard work this tool will do this for you will pull up those numbers for you per mile it's highest mileage whatever whatever that, that the case might be it it will be benefit right it will be like benefit to you use this and what happened like the uh, triangle overview so these are the miles 330 219 160 uh, 185 734 this is uh, this is the mi total miles right and what was the miles from total miles round trip for columbus to buffalo buffalo to columbus it was 600 what was the uh, total mileage it was 660 but in this case it's 734 well, think about you did like 70 miles more maybe round, right? This is like a 40 and then with 74 miles more. As you can see, yeah, this is a plus 74 miles, right? And what you did, you increased by 61 cents per mile. You increased 621 more, re you brought more revenue. Instead of making 1,541, you made 2,162. Isn't that powerful? Think about this way, how this, and this is like a basic mileage, right? It's, it's, it's a basic lanes. It, think about this way, 330 miles. What if you, like, what, what, what about like a 2,000 miles? How that could, you know, make the difference? Trust me, it works, right? So I'll be logging into my DT Power uh, load board, and then I'll be showing you how to use this, like, try haul live right now and by the way this 40 remember this green line here the last video that i made about you know how to use the uh, load board in 2020 and uh, i talked about the live feed right 40 loads as soon as load posted right it's live so you you call you the first and you, you book book that load right so basically what we said is the Atlanta, Georgia going to Los Angeles, California. These are the dates, deadheads and etc. We did search and now the uh, these are the search results, right? So this is how much they pay. And then I said, okay, what if, let me go, well, be honest with you, the first thing that I do, I go to try hall, right? I go to try hall. So again, just a quick reminder, guys, please subscribe. If you didn't already, please like this video, make this, you know, uh, you know, channel grow. Because as I said, it, it, this is the motivation. If I see more people want this type of, you know, tutorial videos, uh, you know, I'll be excited to doing it. You know, I love to talk about this stuff and then it's a win-win situation. You will be learning from me, right? Please subscribe. And the best try haul, when you click, this is what happens this first thing is direct route right from atlanta georgia and this basically means the atlanta market in los angeles los angeles market right so this is the try hall suggesting it now like single full load if you can pick up this load it will be you know you will be making this much right but instead from atlanta georgia so these are the atlanta georgia so from atlanta georgia to other states basically from this you go into this then here okay so basically what they're saying is this is that from atlanta georgia go to you know south dakota first or to houston texas or to austin texas go to texas like pick up a load go to houston texas because they pay more per mileage Right? And again, don't forget, this is for drive-in market, right? Pick up a load from Atlanta, Georgia, go to Texas, and then from Texas, go to Los Angeles. And you will, you will be making more. And think about this one. Think. You did like a little bit like more than a little over 600 maybe miles, and then you're making like, think about that way. How this can increase your customers, clients' revenue. 
right? And and again from you know Rapid City, South Dakota, go from Atlanta to this, and you can actually choose. Or the, the, these guys paying me, you know, two thousand dollars, and you choose the state, right? And then to go to Los Angeles. Now, not many people know this, but I'll give you a tip. Use. When you go to outbound, remember the outbound was the outbound bound is basically like from fr from the uh, from the origin, right? You go. This is outbound state. Think about this way: you go, you you use an outbound from Atlanta from Atlanta to Houston and in Los Angeles, right? You made more money, right? See tri tri triangle. See, use same strategy coming back from Los Angeles to Texas, then go to Atlanta or maybe a different state. You know, I have, um, you know, friends of mine, they really good at using Trihal and he's making a lot of money by doing the, uh, you know, lane search. Maybe, you know, it's not listed, it, you know, they, this Trihal can give you, yes, it's automatic suggestions, but if you do your stuff, do your own thing, be, you know, generating your own lanes by using this strategy it will boost your revenue more than 50 percent i'm 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 100 confident like from atlanta georgia you you may go to i don't know new york maybe maybe pittsburgh you know pick up there and then go to texas then go to um you know uh, los angeles think about that way how this can improve your revenue it's pretty cool stuff isn't it it's you know some people they don't use this okay now i promise you to share my trial right and the people that know me and they, they're you know most of them they're my subscribers they, they know me personally that i use this trial i'll be sharing with you what i do is from atlanta georgia i go to houston texas that you know, because the flatbed market, it's, um, uh, you know, the, the Houston is, I mean, Texas is actually flatbed market. There are a lot of, you know, flatbed loads. And I'm not saying, again, I'm not saying that there's no, you know, drive-in or calling, whatever. But, you know, Texas, it's a huge state, right? And then they have a lot of loads coming in and coming out. And the Houston, Texas, in one of those balanced uh, states, states what, what that what that means is that their loads equal loads let, let's say thousand loads coming into that state and thousand loads going a, a thousand loads coming out of that state some states has like less loads coming in for example let's say south dakota maybe 500 loads coming into that state but going out maybe 5,000. right this is how you do research Right. And you, like if your question is like, Kamal, how can I do that? Well, the let's go here. DAT Tracker Stitch. They have really good. Let me. So again, guys, it's all about tools using oh, using tools. And, and these tools will improve. Right. Uh, like your bottom line. Take a look at this one. So it's flatbed, but let's put. Um, yeah, we we can stay with the uh, uh, flatbed. So what it what is this? Some you may be like asking, come on, what is this stuff, right? It's a tool again. It's a load counts. It's, it's national for the United States. These are the states, right? In means inbound, out means outbound. Remember we talked about this, right? And then this is the ratio. There are more loads coming in or less loads coming in, and then this is the out. More loads. You know, coming out of the state for particular for any or any state, or there's less load coming out of that particular state. Let's talk about Georgia. Georgia again, one of those um, states. It's a balanced state, and you can let's go to Texas. As I said, it's a balanced state as well. See, it's 2100, 24, almost. You know, it's a balanced state, and there are more balanced states. So this um, state is balanced. Um, New York is kind of a little bit. Um, more loads coming in, but less loads coming out. Use these tools to your advantage. And again, think about this way, Mississippi. Think about this way, 242 loads coming in, 
1945 almost 2000 loads coming out what it tells you go to mississippi right go to mississippi and then pick up load from mississippi because they're you know a lot of loads coming out of that state and what it tells you about it's a supply demand theory because there are too much loads now brokers in competition with, with with each other all right right and why is that because there are too much loads to book and there's less trucks you go there this is powerful stuff guys think about this way in mississippi right now there's two thousand loads but coming in less less people going there Maybe they're using other states. But think about it. By doing this re research, maybe 10 to 15 minutes in the morning, you say, oh, I should go to Mississippi because there are too much loads and brokers kind of fighting with each other. Like it's a competition. They want to book loads. And I can, now this is in your favor. Why? As a dispatcher, as an independent dispatcher, right? Because your carrier will get the best paying loads out of this. Why? Because of the competition. Competition is in your favor right now in this state this is inbound and outbound ratio use this tool right so going back to the try haul now i think it's a clear but again if you guys have questions let me know i'll be doing a like the question like a q a session including like i'll be including that q a session within um the uh within the video so that you know it will be clear for you guys well, why don't I do this? I, I have these, you know, questions. Like, let me pull this. Okay, here it is. Let's, let's talk about this. The, the first one. So this is one of my, so these are my subscribers. Right? These, these people asking questions. And thank you so much for asking these questions. Okay, let's cover first one. Um, I think, you know, m most people maybe uh, have these questions, but they didn't ask. How would insurance certificate certificates work um not clear be honest with you as for as this question how would insurance certificates work not clear but is it like should i include myself self in the certificate of insurance i don't know just you know be clear when you're asking questions but i think i have some powerful stuff it's the legality of this business if you are an independent dispatcher do you need to have owner operators join under your llc do you mean it's my LLC or do you mean like your LLC? If you are an independent truck dispatcher, you don't have um, like a trucking company, but yes, you do have your LLC. You said owner operators. Let's say in an owner operator located in Houston, Texas, and this guy has his own authority, meaning MC and DOT. He has insurance. He is a basically a trucker, right? So he has like his truck trailer his LLC, whatever the, I don't know, the corporation type might be, but he's an owner operator. You will be representing this guy. It's not his under his LLC. Your LLC contracts with his LLC. This is how it works. Hope that, you know, this makes sense. What, what is, what is considered double brokering? Oh, this is really good one. Double brokering. Many people get confused. Like, is this independent truck dispatching business double brokering? I don't know. It's, it's illegal okay let's let me pull this up and then we'll go over this okay and again truckers edge it's a dat has this um really good um the uh, blog post double brokering is when a carrier or someone posting as a carrier books a load through a broker and then brokers brokers mean posting load right brokers that 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 that's the uh, term um, and again, to a different carrier, it's also illegal. Absolutely, I totally agree. And then I will give you the examples. Let's say X carrier booked a load from a X broker, right? It's $5,000 load going out of, I don't know, from Atlanta, Georgia to Texas area. Now what happens? This carrier, this one situation, there are many ways, you know, this double broking can happen. But we're not switching the, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, I would say the, the main theme of this training, but uh, it's, it's relatable, right? So you guys have to know this because this is the Q&A session. And there's many ways to do this. It, it's, as they say here, it's a variety of ways to doing this. And of course, 
full disclaimer, like you have to avoid this, right? And you have to talk to your uh, my carriers and you 100% avoid double broken. And maybe accidentally this double broken can happen and how this can happen, because maybe you don't know, right? This is why we have to talk about this. And you as a, let's say this 5,000 loads would we booked, let's say, from, from a KX broker, and then let's say this X carrier decided not to deliver this load, and then he brokers this load. Brokers mean posting this load like as a carrier or assigns to another carrier, meaning I'm not going there, but hey, take, it, take this load and deliver. Listen, the X carrier, that load was assigned on his MC number. That MC number has an insurance policy, which is cargo insurance, liability insurance, physical damage, and etc. That we were talking about the cargo insurance here. Hey, that X carrier, this 5,000 load from Atlanta, Georgia to Houston, Texas was booked under that MC number. This broker, the X broker knows this. Now, without his permission, Without calling him, letting him know, he just, you know, assigned this load to another carrier. What happened? It's double brokering. What is it? It's illegal. That's that's the thing. That that, that can happen. And, and think about this way. There's a, a legit way of doing this, and, and it actually happens. It, let me, let, let's fi finish this. Double brokering can happen in a in variety of forms, right? So you can read this. But the, another way is they are also... Read this. They're also fraudulent companies that book the load from a broker with no intention of ever paying the carrier. Instead, sending their own invoice to the broker and then disappearing. Red flag. Right? They are some companies, guys. They're some fraudulent companies that they actually do this. Be careful. Learn this stuff. Independent truck dispatchers. They represent, they represent carriers, right? And your carrier cannot do this. And if they said, okay, we book this load and then we have to assign this load. You say, no, 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 no. We're not double broken here. It's illegal, right? My job is to represent you, right? And this, um, this uh, sentence right here, pay attention to this one. Brokers do occasionally post the same loads for totally legit reasons right learn about this you know we use this term a lot can get loads these are sometimes called can get loads where the shipper has agreed right to give the load to the to the first it kind of first come first serve thing first broker that can find them a truck think about this way if i'm a shipper and i have i don't know hundreds of brokers and I send the email to my brokers saying that, hey, this is the first, first come, first serve load. Find me a carrier. This is a rush load. What they do is, you know, then other companies, brokers, companies, like big companies out there, like posting this load all over the place. And now inexperienced dispatchers or carriers saying that, or new carriers, I would say, saying that, oh, these are the people who are double brokering. How this come? Man, it's a legit way of doing this. You know, they are some shippers. They assign, they, they, they haven't been assigned yet, but they posted their loads. They have their own system, their backend system, right? And then the brokers receive email. First come, first serve called can get loads. Like remember this, this term, can get loads. Okay, so hope this clears some of the questions that you guys have, but independent truck dispatcher service business is no different than other businesses. You know, some narrow-minded brokers, and again, when I say brokers, I admire my brokers, I love my brokers, and I strongly believe that they are, you know, good brokers out there. Because I have those brokers, you know, I can't say bad things about them. Real, I, you know, I build a relationship with them. They're really nice, they're really good professionals, right? The businessmen or entrepreneurs, you know, I love being around them. But they are some brokers, like, you know, small, narrow-minded people out there doing this broker you know broker thing and then they can't do it and they messed up you know this um amazing industry you think about it that way you know they're posting blog posts under the website you know independent track dispatching is like what because they don't need a competition 
they don't need competition because they really want to work directly with carriers. But good brokers, they know that carriers are busy and they need independent track dispatch or dispatchers to help them run their businesses smoothly. Why? Why they? Why they need this? Because it's in their favor. They need this because if carriers, you know, deliver book on time, deliver on time, you know, everybody make you know makes money in this case. So here's another question. It's hey Kamal, I need more explanation on between factoring and carriers. But carriers by now should be clear, right? Carriers are truckers, trucking companies. They have their own trucks and trailers, you know. But I think you you need the difference. What what are the difference um, between? And, 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 and I get it because not many people understand how these factoring companies work. Think about factoring companies as you know the financial companies. Think 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 that way. It's again it's another middleman type of company. And the term you know that I hear most of the time is like freight factoring and then invoice factoring i hear most uh freight factoring but most of the time about 90 you know percent of the time you will be hearing like factoring companies this is why you know maybe you, you get confused don't confuse it's a freight uh, factoring it's a when a carrier think about this when a carrier sells sells the invoice for a load right they uh, think they have uh, hauled in order to get cash immediately so to speak instead of waiting I did a uh, uh, you know a good video about this explaining the factoring companies and how they work, and waiting like waiting for thirty days, forty days, right? However, you know this is kind of struggle, the obstacle I would say for for a carrier, right? And they can't wait to broker to pay. The factoring company then will take the percentage out of this invoice as a fee, a small fee. Uh, usually it's two percent, one point five percent, one percent, right? But factoring, this is the term comes. Factoring is one of the most, um, I would say, common ways that trucking companies improve their cash flow. Using these uh, companies to improve the cash flow. I need money now because you know, trucking com uh, I mean, the trucking industry is very competitive. I would say brutally competitive, right? You, you know, it's uh, the cash flow is everything in this business especially when a new carriers uh, they have uh, recently opened their um, startup it's it's a lot of you know expenses they don't have you know money to operate they're using factoring companies you know hope this helps let's jump into while we're here and again question so if i'm using the carriers info to access basically this um uh, gregory means that if if i use your load boards kamal uh, your access do i need to pay for a subscription to a load board to find loads absolutely not you know i don't charge maybe there are some carriers they're charging but i don't think so you know uh, no it's free most of the time because you I, I'm, I'm paying for my subscription and if you're a really good dispatcher and you're bringing you know more revenue by using try haul for example there you go using try haul using those techniques right if you bring more money to my company no it's it's no i'm not gonna charge but anyway i'm not gonna charge because you know it's 149 dollars it's it's not a big deal it in most about 99 percent of you know people don't charge for you know using uh, the subscription no it's, it's it's free another question i think this is the last question um hi what's the procedure if to work from outside the us this is one of those common questions how to do with taxes bank accounts opening organization okay hmm. andre said um, if you find out let me know i'm in bolivia okay so you are in outside the us and i have been telling this that yes you can be anywhere around the world uh, la you know watch last videos i talk about this and then with the uh, guy named Otiar, uh, the Nick with Otiar Capital, and I made a couple of other videos talking about this how you can, you know, leverage these load boards um, outside and work outside the US, right? Independent truck dispatch, meaning you can be anywhere around the world. But when it comes to, like, if you are, let's say, in Mexico and you want to open a business in the United States, I have no idea how to do that, right? But if you're asking like how the system works, 
like taxes, bank accounts, opening the organization is straightforward. I can, you know, give explanation about that. But the question is not clear. I'm thinking like I'm in New Mexico, let's say, right? How can I do that? But I think this question will be like, look for a local, a, a, a small business attorneys and ask them. They know better. Right? I can I can say that well, we have to go to an EIN, you have to register your business here, and then here's the bank account. Once you have these, you know, um, uh, the company documents, then you go to open a bank. I'll recommend, let's say, X bank, and then this is how it goes, right? But I don't know if you are in Russia, or if you're in Ukraine, or if you're, in this case, in Bolivia, uh, in, in Europe. I don't know how you are there, but you want to open it you know, business here, or are you talking about like how I can open business in Bolivia, in Mexico or in Russia? I have no idea, right? Because I don't know the rules in other countries. This is more of a um, ask a, you know, the, the small business attorney, the lawyer, pay a couple of hundred dollars for his time and then he will guide you, right? That will be much, much, much clearer. I can give you instructions here, but different countries have different rules and policies. I'm not gonna mess up this. But if you have like, I don't know how to do this, you know, in the, let's say I'm in the US, how can I do this? Just, you know, email me, I can show you exactly how to do this, right? And then there's a um, website called, um, I think, legalzoom.com. Um, you can go there and then they have, I think, free attorneys that they will be answering your questions. And I think that's it for this video, guys. Again, um, as I said, uh, let's go back to our uh, load board. So I just a quick wrap up. We talked about the try haul, how to use it effectively, if, you know, uh, profitably in your business. We define the legality of this um, business. It's very powerful stuff, guys. It's, it's really important. So again, if you have any questions, let me know. But, you know, help this channel grow by subscribing. Why? Why you want to grow, grow this channel? Why you want to be part of this channel? But as you can see, you know, I'm giving back to the com community so that you can learn. You don't, didn't you learn, you know, good stuff in this? I mean, in, in this video, you learned one of the best tools out there, how to use trial that not many people, you know, know this, but you know this, right? So that you can receive my emails, you can receive my notifications when I post videos like this and you'll be the first watching this and then implement, right? Please like and share. And then I have this, uh, many people asking me, Kamal, what is the load board that you're using? It's, it's a uh, DAT, as you can see, it's a DAT power by um, uh, the uh, uh, company name is DAT Solutions. I have a links below if you wanna, you know, wanna, you know, buy the subscription if you want or you wanna check it out. You know, those are the links that have like 30 days free. You can, you know, get the subscription and try it for 30 days for free. And for those of you who are interested in becoming um, independent truck dispatchers in below of this video, in every video that I have, the below in the description, I have a paid version of the training and I have a free version of a training. Please join and learn. There's a really powerful stuff and then it can change your life. Okay. So, Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you guys have any questions, let me know and then we'll go from there. Thank you. Bye now.